in this video a demonstration about how a frequency modulated radio station uh, between 80 MHz and 110 MHz can have a severe effect uh, on shortwave uh, when you receive a radio station between say 40, 14 MHz and 18 MHz. At first a demonstration This is a FM modulated radio station in the Netherlands operating between 80 MHz and 110 MHz uh, that has a severe effect on the shortwave receiver. And um, of course we have to uh, push down, null out all uh, the effect from these uh, FM modulated radio stations. And I've made an antenna filter here that suppresses it and now it's in the off position and this is the filter by the way and a detailed description is in an earlier video on my youtube channel so let's see what happens And now we push the filter on and it's completely silent now on approximately uh, 16 or 17 megahertz. And there are no radio stations at the moment. It's 3.30 in the Netherlands. So it's in it's the night. And when I switch that filter off again, it completely breaks through um, into this sensitive shortwave radio. And of course you can ask why does a a frequency modulated signal has such an influence on a radio uh, where only amplitude modulated signals and single sideband signals are received anyway. Well that has a lot to do with the strengths from these radio stations and also by uh, the fact that uh, a short F radio like this made for AM can also detect frequency modulated signals uh, by the way of so-called slope detection. And here is that coil that receives it all. So this radio also uh, has slope detection. Uh, that means that it receives and detects uh, FM signals and um, can reproduce the sound but of course in an extremely distorted way because this radio was not made for that purpose. And you can hear that here. Completely distorted local FM radio stations that can be switched off with the filter and that filter circuit is in an earlier video on my YouTube channel.